You are welcome to another video of Juniper Journal's associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper firewall filter concept and configuration, which is a security solution to control traffic at data plane, which is exactly like access control list in Cisco devices. Juniper firewall filter is a stateless, which is different from security policy solution, which is a stateful access control. In other words, in firewall filter, every packet must be inspected individually to determine whether it is permitted to be transmitted or must be filtered. As it is explained, the introduction Juniper firewall filter allows us to control traffic at layer 3 and layer 4 where they are permitted or filtered as they enter or exit an interface. From a configuration perspective, it is exactly implemented like routing policy what we have learned in the previous section. We write a firewall filter with rules or terms which are processed in orders. Each term has a from a statement to match the traffic at layer three and layer four, source and destination IP address protocol, and destination ports are the most usual headers that are inspected to match the packet at layer three and layer four. Each term also has an action statement or then a statement to take an action when a traffic is matched. Permit and deny are the most usual actions to be applied to the packet. To deny the packet, we have two options, discard and reject. With discard option, the packet is discarded silently without giving any notification. But with a reject action, an ICMP notification will be sent to the source of the packet which is discarded. We may also log, count, or limit the rate of the specific traffic. If these actions are configured, the packet will be forwarded after the action is applied. If you want to discard the traffic after applying these actions, this must be explicitly configured. The action can be configured as the next term, which means that the processing continues with the next rule. When the traffic is not matched with any of the configured rules or terms, by default, it will be discarded. To better understand firewall filter, this is an example taken from Juniper website, firewall filter can be configured separately for IPv4 and IPv6. This example is configured under the INET family, which is dedicated to IP version 4. The name of firewall filter is filter in. It has two terms, block some packets and accept others. In the first rule, the traffic with the source address of 10.10.10 10, 10, 10, slash 24 are counted and discarded. If we don't configure the discard policy, it will be permitted by default when the count is applied. All other packets are permitted with the second term. Firewall filter must be applied to an interface in incoming or outgoing direction. In the right section of the photo, it shows how the firewall filter, filter in, is applied to the interface Giga Eternal 001 and in incoming direction. Now we will implement a sample firewall filter in virtual SRX devices. This is the topology that we are going to apply the firewall filter. These are two virtual SRX devices connected to each other through Giga Ethernet 000 interface with the IP address 10.10.10. 10, 10. Each virtual SRX device has a loopback interface. A loopback interface connected to virtual SRX has the IP address of 172.16.1 slash 24. And the loopback interface connected to virtual SRX 2 has the IP address of 172.16.2/24. Routing between these two devices is already configured in the previous sections. 
and loopback interfaces are now reachable over the link connecting two virtual statics to each other. In this example, we want to configure a very simple firewall filter to deny any ICMP traffic from the source IP address 172.16.1.1 to the destination 172.16.2.1. All other traffic will be permitted. We write the firewall filter in virtual SIX2 and apply it to Giga Ethernet 000 interface and the incoming direction. Before starting the configuration, let's ping and also test SSH connection between these two loopback interfaces to make sure that every traffic is permitted before firewall filter is configured and applied to the device. Ping 172.16.2.1 source 172.16.1.1 and with the source of outgoing interface the ping is also successful and with ssh command ssh raiko 172.16.2.1 as you can see ssh connection is also successful and exit this is the configuration that I've already prepared to configure in Virtual SIX2. We configure a filter with the name of filter 1. It has two terms, discard ICMP and permit all. In the first term, discard ICMP, we reject any ICMP traffic from Virtual SIX1 loopback interface with the source of 172.16.1.1 to the destination virtual SRX2 loopback interface with the IP address of 172.16.2.1 and it will be rejected and the protocol is ICMP and in the second term permit all we permit every other traffic since we have not matched any traffic and it is matched by default by all other traffic the firewall filter is applied incoming direction of Giga Ethernet 000 in virtual SRX2. Let's copy the configuration in virtual SRX2. Copy and then configure and then paste. Show compare and then commit now we can check again the connectivities between loopback interfaces and also ssh connection with the ping with the source of 172.16.1.1 as you can see it is discarded but it received the notification from the ip address of 10.10.10.2 10, 10, 10, uh, which shows the traffic is prohibited by the filter uh, it does this because we have choose reject action instead of discard action when we choose discard action the traffic will be discarded silently without sending any notification and with the source of outgoing interface it must be successful and also we expect that ssh connection will be also to the virtual service too